Hi, it's Doodling Debbie here with another um, video tutorial and this one's on how to make doilies. I promised you I'd make a video so here it is. I love to make doilies and remember each doily that you design and make is your own thoughts, your own design. I've made several of them and here's one that I just recently made and I did a test cut on it and I took a picture and put it over here in studio so I can give you a look at it. There you go. That's the doily that I designed and made and you can create your own. But I'm going to give you a start on showing you how to get started on making these. First of all, I want to go over here and hold down my shift key. I have my elliptical tool. Hold down my shift key, click and drag. There we go. We have a perfect circle. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my offset window and I'm going to do an offset. I have that one and now I'm going to take the circle I just did the offset on and I'm going to do an internal offset. And I'm going to slide the slider here to bring that in just a bit. There we go. That looks good. Okay, then I'm going to group these two and you see they're both selected right oops let's do that again I must have clicked off of it okay they're grouped I have them both selected now I'm going to right click and click make compound path and you'll find out why I did that in a little bit okay now that I have this circle here we want to go over and select our type tool and I'm going to use the font Arial for this and I'm going to click hold down my shift key and type an O because I want a capital O. And now, see this little toggle here? Just drag it onto your circle. This is called text to path. Okay, hold down your shift key and continue to type all of the O's in. So they surround your circle. And that came out perfectly. But remember, if they don't, you can go right down here to character spacing and set it. I had this set at 102. Okay, now we want to click on this and we want to right click and we want to release the compound path because we need to get rid of this little gray circle here. So just click on that gray circle and just hit your delete button. Now I need to select all of these letters again that we made in the circle. I'm going to right click again and select make compound path. After this is done we want to bring this over here and I'm going to grab that compound path remember that we made just a moment ago and I'm going to bring it over here and make a couple of little uh, adjustments I'm going to click on my circles and I'm going to e oops I want to undo that because that's not the circles I want it to I clicked on the wrong thing I'm going to make sure you click on their your ring there that we made by doing the offset and I'm going to slide it to where the ring meets the bottom of these O's that we typed in for our text to path. And let's go over here. This can, the, making these doilies is time consuming, but remember you'll have the file for forever. And I don't have to get too, too, too particular, but I'm just a perfectionist that way. And that's why I always like to do test cuts to see if I need any files tweaked. Okay, now that I have that done, we're going to drag our cursor around both of these and go right here to the bottom or up here to your modify tool. But I just use the bottom here and click on weld selected shapes into one shape. There we go. Now if we just if we cut this out right at this point, we would have just this this edge so right now I'm going to go ahead and release the compound path for now I'm going to get rid of this kind of choppy looking circle and now I'm going to go back in select it again right click and make a compound path again so there's the outside of our doily. Now if we want it to have a shape, we'll go, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and do a little bit more design. So in order to design, we're going to need those circles again. Remember that we made with the ins 
So I'm going to hold down my shift key to make a circle. And I'm going to move it right here. See about if that's where I like it. Okay, now we go back to your offset window again. I'm going to select internal offset. Make sure that circle selected, internal offset. And then I'm going to slide that bar up just a bit. And so once again, we want to take both of these circles, click on that inner circle we just made, then hold your shift key down, click on that outer circle, right click, go back to make compound path. Okay, and if we want to make sure this is centered in here, we can go hold down and then hold down the shift key and we'll go up here to our alignment window and I want to align center and you see it move over just a little bit and now it's just basically making whatever designs you want. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to make an oval. I'm going to double click on that oval and grab that little node and bend it down about like that. And just, yes, I like that shape. So I'm going to turn this one around and see how that's going to look when it's welded. So in order to duplicate this, because we're going to have to make a bunch of these to go all the way around, And I think I might set that in a little bit more. And maybe bring that curve up a little more. It's just making adjustments on how you want it to be. So I've got this set about where it goes in between two of these. I'm going to click off of that and then I'm going to control and then click and drag and make another one and we're going to have to rotate that a little bit and we're going to rotate that some more push it up here bring that over And it's just fiddling around with it till you get this all done. Make sure it stays in between these two lines, though, when you're doing the design. And then control and click and turn. And get it just about where you want it. And a lot of times after I do these, I um, group them all together and then I save them. So I have them for another row of design. Especially if we're trying to make something that's kind of lacy looking, that's pretty intricate and takes a lot of time. You don't want to have to do this over and over and over. So I'll show you how I go about doing that when we get this done. So... And this is going to be a bit of a long video. I'm going to try and make it shorter. I'm not sure what YouTube allows in the minutes to put on there now. I went uh, almost to a 30 minute video before. So hopefully they'll let me continue to make some long ones so I can finish these up without having to put part one and part two. Sometimes we get a little lost when we start looking for part one and part two. Okay. But I do love to learn from videos because I'm a visual person and I definitely believe in show and tell. And I'm just going right along, holding my control key, shift. And this one may not be perfect because um, I am trying to save time and that's kind of hard when I when I feel like I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to designing stuff I like them to look just right but and I definitely want you to learn how to make these because they are a lot of fun 
and hopefully this isn't going to be take too much longer and the key thing to making doilies is to pay close attention to your welding um, if you start welding uh, shapes and you go to cut them and you find out oh that didn't cut right you probably didn't do your welds right and you just kind of got to really check on where to weld things especially with these doilies the one I did today that I did a test cut of I had, had not welded a couple of the places together and my center didn't show up and well it did I mean it cut out but it was on little bitty pieces that I would have to glue on which would be fine if I was going to glue it on paper but if I want to use this has has a doily ugh. I know I'm talking a lot but it helps pass the time while we're going through all this little detail stuff here Now, I'm going to cheat a little bit and just stretch this one out so it kind of, and then I'm going to stretch this one out a little bit so and now I'm going to go around to each one, hold down the shift key, select each one of these. because I'm going to group them, group, then I'm going to control click and bring it over to the side because if any mistakes go I don't want to have to do this all over again plus I may use this. Okay now I have this, these grouped and then we have our ring there and we hold down the shift key and once again we're going to go down here and select weld. There you go. But we want to pay attention. I'm going to go ahead and resize this because I want it closer to my edge and I let go so it didn't. I just want a little bitty ring around that and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this outer ring. Let's drag this up here. Okay and now I'm going to go over here to align and I'm going to align it center and I'm going to go over here and make sure that they're both that this is 6.050 it doesn't matter if you choose this top or bottom number and now I should go back to align that was silly of me oh, holding down the shift key and then align center okay now you see this cut line here we don't want this to cut out because this will be a whole separate piece so what we're going to do real quick here is we're going to click and release the compound path and then we're going to delete that one okay since this is a compound path over here I'm going to move it now we want to make this another compound path so I'm going to right click and make compound path move this back over. I'm going to take a look at it, see if I want any changes done to it. And actually, if I were doing this, I'm going to go ahead and make this even closer to the edge again. And this is how much fiddling you have to do to make these doilies um, depending on how much design you want in them so that looks good and look it's 6.075 by 6.075 so we're nice and even now I can select this shape again and hold my shift key down and select this shape and go align center again so I have it perfectly centered and now remember how we save these okay let's see if we can reuse these again that would be fantastic wouldn't it 
We wouldn't have to go through all of this stuff again. So this is what I try to do when I make these doilies. I try to reuse pieces so I don't have to do them over and over. Okay, first of all, I'm going to make this whole thing a compound path. Right click, make so it's all. Okay, and then after I'm going to use this, let's go ahead and control click and save this again. Control. I mean, control. <laughs> and drag it over there so we have another copy. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of eyeball this to see where I can turn it to get it to make shapes for me again. And I might have to do a little resizing because I want them inside these little rings here because you know what it will do if we weld them it will put all these little pieces on the outside and we don't want that so just eyeballing all this stuff and looking what kind of design I'm getting out of it And probably if I had more time, I would ungroup these and squeeze these a little bit closer together. But for now, we're going to go ahead and make that a compound path. And then we're going to select all of them once again and hit that weld button there at the bottom. There you go. That's your next piece. And we can keep on going around and doing this over and over and over until we have the center that we want. turning this but of course you can add any kind of designs in the centers you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it this is your taste your design this is just to show you how to get started on making them because I know you all have terrific ideas and creative minds out there and I can't wait to see I hope I get to see some of your creations remember you can check us out at the silhouette plus group forum there's lots of creative and talented people there and we love to meet new people and get new members and and it's all free it doesn't cost a thing to join and this little place right here is the one spot I can't seem to get in there enough but we're gonna try it anyway cuz I have to start moving along here cuz I need to show you a few more things so once again we're going to weld that and there you go now for this little center sometimes we I'm just going to go over and grab a, one of the flowers from um, my library because this will make it quick and easy let's say flowers and what's a good one to use for this oh let's use the Moroccan flower to put in the center okay now I want you to take a look at this because right here is where it would cut and if we made this our center here we would still have this all cut out and this would be our center but look at these cut 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 this would give you like a starburst shape that cuts out in the center of your doily and you don't want that so this is how we're going to go about fixing it and once again we're going to have to go to that elliptical tool hold down our shift key and we're going to draw a circle. Oops. Let's undo that because it I let go too soon. Um, when you let go of the shift key, you get an oval shape like that. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to move this circle right up here. make a couple of little adjustments because I just want it barely going into the edges of this so I'm going to bring this down a bit bring this up just a tad okay now we're going to go back to that offset window and I'm going to do an internal offset and 
just so I can see it a bit better. I'm going to that looks good. Now I have that internal offset selected. Hold down your shift key again. Select that select that outer circle. Shift well it's not doing it. Okay, there's our outer circle. That's the one that's just offset. Now I want to select the other circle. I right click, go down to make compound path, and we're going to grab this and select all this and once again go down to that weld. Now you see how to cut a circle out of the center still. So how do we get rid of that? We have to right click, release the compound path again, click on that inner circle, delete it. Okay, we're going to right select every little shape in there again, make the compound path. Now we can place our center in there. So it will just cut out this pretty little center out of this right there. And you can resize this if you want a little bitty center in there. You can add some other little shapes to it to make your own design. Okay, one other step we're going to do is if you, we may not want our edges to be like this. So this is a really cool and easy way. Once again, we're going to go to that offset window. We're going to do offset. And we're going to bring that offset down, I mean, down, I mean, ugh, sorry, up. Don't want my down or up. Okay, then once we have that offset, we want to do an internal offset because this is going to make your edge. Right now, we just cut this scallop shaped around. So this is going to make the edge of your doily. So we're going to do offset and we're going to creep it in, creep it in, creep it in, creep it in, creep it in just right above that and we're going to hold we're going to hold down the shift key and select that other outer piece we're going to go make compound path again then we're going to select all the way across here and hit the weld button there we go there's your doily and that's how easy it is to make one i hope you try your own design test cut your pattern um, and have lots and lots of fun. Oh, just a moment. I noticed that when we did that weld, I didn't remove my centerpiece. So I'm going to go back over here to my library and grab that little flower again. And move it to the center. I'm going to drag my cursor all the way around this. Right click, make compound path. I'm going to resize this just a little bit so we can see every little piece of it and it'll be ready to cut. Let's go ahead and fill this with some color so we can get a good look of what our doily is going to look like. Open the fill window. We'll just pick that little color there and there you go. We've created a doily. Have fun creating yours and remember to check into the Silhouette Plus form and show off some of your work. It's been Great crafting and creating and designing with you. See you on the forum. Bye-bye.